Hey guys, welcome to Protocoders Point. Okay, so I'm making this tutorial because I got a comment from one of my subscribers on my previous tutorial that is that was related to list view and when a user select any list of item from the list view, we are going to pass the data to the next screen and showing the selected item on the second screen. Okay, so the use uh, my subscriber commented on this video that is he want to implement previous and next button on the second page uh, of a user selected item. So that the user do not have to go back to select other item from the second page itself the user can navigate to different items of the list views okay so in this tutorial we are going to do the same thing okay so let's begin okay so if you want to learn how to create a list view uh, with some items and pass the selected item from one screen to another screen you can just watch this video tutorial or you can just refer an article on my website about it you can just get the source code with complete details about each and everything about the source code okay so this is the article you can just refer it okay so everything is there over here Okay, so now let's go to our Android Studio and here I have created a new Flutter project for this tutorial and this is the default code that is a counter code given by Flutter team while creating new Flutter project. Okay, so I'm going to replace the code with my uh, website code uh, to implement uh, list view passing data to second screen. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so just for time saving purpose, I'm going to to fast forward this video tutorial and in the meantime I'm going to copy paste the code from this website to my newly created Flutter project okay so let's begin over here okay so before editing anything in this code i am going to explain you the basic about what is the, been done in this flutter project okay so this is the main.dart page so in main.dart page we have list of item been shown and when a user select an item from a list view the selected item will be navigated or passed to a second page that is fruit details so in fruit details we are going to display the selected item by a user in this app bar and the body so you can see i am going to show a image and the title description of the fruit okay so to store the details about the fruits or a data i am going to make use of another file that is a data model where we are going to accept three parameters name image url and a description of an item okay so let's go to main.dart page and let's check the code okay so here by statically i am i have created two types of data one is which holds name of a fruits and one is the image of a u fruits so these are the url of a images been shown in my app okay so let me show you my app so this is the app that has been built okay so when user select any item will be navigated to second page and here we are going to show the selected item okay okay so now here as you can see there is no next button to navigate to the next or previous item so the user has to go back and select another item so i want to add a feature by adding one button next and previous so that user can switch between the items by being into the same uh, page he do not have to go back to switch the item okay so let's begin now okay okay sorry i just forgot about explaining the code from here okay so here i am going i am generating a list by making use of our data model and i am going to pass the data uh, list of datas by converting in, into a list of data type model okay so you can see over here I'm going to store the data of this array into this object which is of type data model class okay okay and this data is been shown in our list view builder something like this so I'm going to make use of list tell to store the title and the image of the uh, 
list view okay and when a user press on this uh, any item we are going to uh, pass the data from list view to the second page something like this so you can see by using constructor of our second page okay so this is the second page and this is the accepted parameter in our second page we are going to pass the data model to our second page okay so we receive the data model that a user has selected in this page you can see over here and now by using this data model i can access the name image and the description of our fruit data model okay okay so now let's uh, implement previous and next button to the same code okay so there is no changes needed to be done in data model okay so now let's go to main dot dot page okay so here when a user select any item from a list view i i'm navigating the user to the second page by passing a parameter that a user has selected okay so with this i want to pass an index that a user has selected okay index is equal to index okay and then uh, instead of passing a particular item what i'm going to do is i'm going to pass the whole list or here something like this okay so this is giving me an error because there is no parameter been accepted in my second page okay so let's go to the second page and here you can see the required property is only one okay so first of all i want to convert this into fruit data model which is of type list and then here there is one more parameter that is index this dot index okay so i want to initialize this index int index okay, i can't make this constant okay so now let's go to main dot dot and let's check if the error is gone so you can see error is been gone and we are going to pass index and we are going to pass the whole list of data to our second page from main dot dot page okay so now we can make use of this index to uh, use this data model that is of type list okay so now let's use it one by one over this items widget so now as we are going to change the list of this structure or any data into this uh, scaffold widget dynamically we can't make this as keep it as stateless widget so let's change it to stateful widget okay so now we have our data in this variable so let's use it okay so as you saw i when i change this to stateful widget so to access the parameter the this is the syntax we need to use widget dot fruit data model dot name okay so in our case we want to show a particular index of this fruit data model okay so for that here Uh, widget dot index okay something like this we need to do in dot name and the same thing for image paste and then the description okay so now let's uh, run this project and check if everything is working or no okay so the app is running on my device so when i press so you can see it is working perfect fine after making changes in the app so let's do one thing let's print this data model and check what is there in this data model okay so let me print something somewhere over here okay so let's restart okay so now you can see over here all the data is been stored this is one data this is second this is third this is fourth and this is fifth so as you can see there are five items in my list views so all the data is been passed to the second page at once whenever user select any item okay so now let me create two buttons in my second page one is for previous and one is for next item okay so for that i am going to make use of a floating action button floating action button i want to add two widgets in it so i am going to make use of raw 
main axis alignment main axis alignment space bit around something you can use okay and then here child widget so inside child widget i'm going to add two buttons that is floating action button child there will be a icon with back button okay and the same thing i will just copy and paste for a forward button that is next button so forward button okay so when these buttons are been pressed i want to navigate the user or change the item being into the same project okay so you can see this buttons has been created okay so as i'm going to make use of two floating action button i need to add a hero tag to this both buttons so let me add two buttons over here else it may give me an error when i press on buttons okay so this hero button should be hero tag should be unique each time okay okay so when i press on previous button that is back button i want to navigate the user to previous item so for that here state set state if widget dot index is not equal to zero if it is not equal to zero if a index is not equal to zero then what i will do is i will just decrement the index value by one minus one minus minus okay and then when a user press on next button i want to increment the value by plus one okay so over here the condition will be different so here widget dot fruit item dot length minus one okay so here we are going to increment the index value by one and here we are going to decrement the index value by one and that's it okay so what this will do is it will update the index so wherever we are going to make use of this index automatically our list will get fetched and our widget tree will get updated okay so now let's check our app okay so app got restarted so let me check so i'm clicking on banana and when i press on this button that is previous button you can see a user has been navigated to the previous item next 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 and this is the last one so a user can't go beyond this okay, so this is the zeros position and this is the next position so you can see this is so simple to create or implement next button on the second page of our list view item okay so that's all for this video tutorial the com some complete source code of this tutorial will be on my website that is protocoldespoint.com you can get get the source code from there okay so thanks for watching please do subscribe protocoldespoint thank you